Today's message is you will be free. You'll be freed from what has been holding you captive. You'll be freed from the chains that have held you for so long. Most of you, the chains that are holding you are not physical. The chains could be spiritual. Remember, we are fighting a spiritual battle. That's why the scripture says that you do not wage war against uh, uh, flesh and blood, but against principalities, against rulers of this age. So your enemy is not flesh and blood. Though the enemy can use people to injure you, the enemy can use people to attack you. But your battle is spiritual. So instead of attacking somebody, Instead of uh, going and speaking words to somebody, go in prayer. Pray about it. Pray about that situation. When you see an enemy, pray and pray. Because the scripture says, men ought to pray and not faint. We are supposed to be praying. Pray without ceasing. Brothers and sisters, the scripture, the scripture that I want to read to you is in the book of Acts chapter 12 verse 5 to 11 acts chapter 12 verse 5 to 11 and it reads peter was therefore kept in prison but constant prayer was offered to god for him by the church and when herod was about to bring him out that night peter was sleeping bound with two chains between two soldiers and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison, and he struck Peter on the side and raised him, say, he raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And the chains fell off his hands. Then the angel said to him, Guard yourself and tie on your sandals and so he did and he said to him put on your garments and follow me so he went out and followed him and did not know what was done by the angel was real but thought he was seeing a vision when they were when they were past the first and the second guard posts they came to the iron gate that leads to the city which open to them on its own accord and they went out and went down one street and immediately the angel departed from him and when peter had come to himself he said now i know for for certain that the lord has sent his angel and has delivered me from the hand of herod and from the from all the expectation of the jewish people glory to god this is a loving message. This is a very beautiful message. That the scripture says that Peter was therefore kept in prison. Some of you are kept in prison. There are things and forces of this world that have gotten a hold of you, that have kept you in prison. It may not be actual prison, but it may be a prison of death. It may be a prison of loneliness. I wish I'm speaking to somebody. It may be a prison of sickness, a prison of frustration, a prison of pain. You have been kept in prison and you have been chained. Peter was kept in prison. But the scripture says, but constant prayer was offered to God for him by the church as you are kept in prison. Brothers and sisters, some of you think that you are lonely. Some of you think that you have no one who cares about you, but there are people who are praying for you. Some of you have sent out your prayer requests, probably to this ministry or to somebody else, and they are praying for you. They keep you in prayer. There are people that I keep in prayer. There are people who keep sending me their, their, their prayers, and I keep them in prayer constantly. Brothers and sisters, I need you to realize that we are the body of Christ. That if the hand is injured, the body will suffer pain. So my brothers and sisters, there are people who are praying with you. And as people are praying with you, do not keep quiet. Also pray. 
keep on praying. Do not leave it to the man of God or the woman of God to pray for you. Participate in your own deliverance. Peter also prayed as the church was praying for him. He prayed. Scripture says, And when Herod was about to bring him out, glory to God, that night Peter was sleeping, bound with two chains between two soldiers, and the guards before the door were keeping the prison. Some of you are bound in chains. And your accuser, your tormentor is about to bring you out. He's about to destroy your life. But God has good plans for you. God has good plans for you. Your prayers are not in vain. Your prayers are not wasted. They are working. Now the scripture says in verse 7, Now behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the prison, and he struck Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly, my God. Glory to God. May the angel of good news, may the angel of deliverance come to your rescue. I decree and declare that whatever you are going through, whatever prison that has uh, uh, consumed you, whatever pit that they have placed you in, you will be out of it. Just as Peter was out of that prison, just as the chains fell of him, I decree and declare that whoever is watching me right now, chains are falling off in your life. Chains will fall off in your life. I speak deliverance over your life. I send forth the word in your house, in your midst, in your business, in your land, wherever you are to deliver you, to heal you right now in the name of Jesus. Now, I love what the scripture says in verse 8. Then the angel said to him, Guard yourself and tie on your sandals. And so he did. And he said to him, Put on your garment and follow me. So he went out and followed him. The angel told him to put on his sandals. It was a sign of him to prepare himself. Some of you, God is telling you, God is speaking to you. Prepare yourself. Put on your sandals. Put on your garments. You may be when you have been weeping for so long. You have been in a place crying out to God. But God is telling you, put on your makeup, put on your sandals, put on your, your clothes and prepare to move. Prepare to move. He doesn't want you to leave anything behind. He doesn't want you to leave your belongings behind. Put on your watch if it is a must. Put on your clothes, your best suit, your best, best, best uh, shoes and prepare to move. For deliverance is coming your way. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, uh, when you read this, this whole story, Peter, for all that time, he thought it was a vision. He thought that he was seeing a vision, only to realize it was real. Some of you, you may think that you are seeing a vision. But to some, yes, you may think it is an illusion. To some, it may, you may think it is a dream. But it's coming to reality. Brothers and sisters, this is grace. If you have been blessed by this message, leave your comments. Send me your message. And God bless you. Until next time, shalom.